Okay, well that's recording. That's got me. That's good. Hello to you guys out there in YouTube land. Yes, it's me, DR. Uh, another video. This topic for me today is when someone says, you know, it's something that gets my goat. You know, when someone says, we are just an animal. What does that mean, We're just an animal? Is it is it important for some people to differentiate us from the rest of the animal kingdom? For me, I think, I, I don't really care. It's like when someone goes, you know, you're related to a monkey or something and they use that as a racial slur. I'm not gonna say it on, I'm not gonna say it on YouTube because you know what? Don't wanna give people the satisfaction. But when people use those type of slurs, not a slur to me. Genetically, we're very similar. Only someone who is naive and wants to create their own imaginary world where we are distinctly different from the animals, maybe by decree by some deity or maybe because they don't necessarily understand the research. Only someone like that, who's cognitively disingenuous, would be scared of being different from animals. Uh, if you, if you, you know, if you understand genetics and and, and basic biology and evolution, um, you understand we're all we all got a common ancestor. The universe came from a you know potential single dot, you know dot quote unquote and, and expanded so therefore we all come from the central elements I, I just I find it I find it quite fascinating the people who object to being related to another animal we are just an animal um, we potentially are slightly more complex I wouldn't necessarily say better I don't think complexity is better. Anyone who's put together a wardrobe knows that complexity isn't better. The more complex it might be, the more difficult it might be to function. And anything thinks we're a perfect creation, you know, should go to a hospital sometime. The reason we have medicine is that the that whole shebang is imperfect and random and you know, just looking at things like the AIDS virus and how much variation there is between one stream of strain and, the, and another stream is easy to see. I think it's something like something ridiculous, like 60% variation between HIV streams and the fact that we only look at HIV B. I mean, I always use that as an example, but that shows you the differential of existence. I, I don't, I don't see a problem with being called an animal or be defined as an animal. I don't think that's a challenge. I don't think it's even an insult. You know, people kind of try and make it as a you know, relate to animalistic tendencies, but the fact that human beings are a subset of animals, all of our instincts and uh, are animalistic. All of our tendencies are animalistic by default. So it just frustrates me when people get really offended. I'm not related to an ape. Uh, well, you, you are. You might, you might doubt it. You might try and uh, try and reject that, that claim, but it's it's objectively true. So say what you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you're trying to use it as a slur, congratulations. You just use the definition as a slur. It's like someone saying, you like cheese. So, okay, brilliant. Thanks. Perfect. And if you're trying to use it as a way of rejecting certain things, well, that's fine, but you're, you're wrong. You, <laughs> and you can be wrong. I just, I, and I think personally, I just find when people use, you know, I'm not related to an ape, you know, which is just an animal. I just think they're forgetting how wondrous animals are, how varied they are, the complexity of us, and us being a subset of that category. Now it leads me on to kind of categories in general and how people get wrapped up in categories and forget that actually categorization was made by human beings. You know, we talk here, people talk about kinds. Well, kinds are really just us labeling criteria of animals. 
they all, there's all there's a subset and everything goes back to it so we've just defined 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 down to a point where it makes sense to us you know the, the, it i i find I, it frustrates me it frustrates me that you hear people saying things like that so that was me dr quick video five minutes <laughs> well i say thank you for watching i would love to know your views as well what do you think when people say things like just an animal simply an animal we're not an animal what, what, what does that does that make you kind of go because it always does get my heckles up this is me dr saying peace out thanks for watching have a safe journey wherever you're heading i've got to say these things um subscribe um hit the silly bell button like all that type of nonsense um and thank you for watching